Hello to all of you, this is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss about higher order constructs that is a reflective reflective model. Now how we have given this nomenclature of reflective reflective it means that the lower order is also reflective and the higher order is also reflective. How, we'll do, how we will do the reporting of the reliability and validity in such model let us see. So in this case first we will report the reliability and validity of the lower order constructs and then we will report the reliability and validity of the higher order constructs. Let's see how we carry out such analysis in smart PLS directly we will go there. Now let us first understand how the model is reflective reflective. See in job satisfaction the arrows are moving out similarly in the case of organizational commitment and environmental perception I will have to change this and I will make it reflective. Here I will hide this. So this is also reflective arrows are moving out and in higher order which is formed by job satisfaction, organizational commitment and environment perception. Here also the arrows are moving out. I will rename this to make it HOC, higher order construct. Right. Now this is reflective. Now according to the Baker's approach if you want to uh, analyze such model what we will do all the items of the lower order are loaded on the higher order let us see is it the same thing yes js1 to js4 it's loaded oc1 to oc4 it is loaded and ep1 to ep4 is loaded okay we will connect this also right now in this approach there is one problem let me show you what the problem is i will make it on the right hand side. When we will carry out the reliability and the validity of this model, first of all let me run the PLS algorithm start the calculation. Now the reliability and the validity that is the software will report AVE CR on this, uh, this loadings on the basis of this. And actually the expected thing in higher order construct is that the AVE and CR is calculated on the basis of 1, 2 and 3. Let us confirm that is the software reporting on the basis of this only or not. So the figures are 0 0.624, 0 0.742, 0 0.70. When I fit this figure manually, I will get AVE 0 0.347 and composite reliability 0 0.856. Let me check is it the same thing I will go in PLS algorithm and I will go in construct reliability and validity and let me see this. Yes the figure is same. Now this is problematic. I cannot report this figure. Fine. At present we will not report any statistics of HOC that is higher order constructs but definitely we can report the figures of that is the reliability and validity of the lower order 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This we can report it. So what I'll do, I'll go here. I'll start with the outer loading. If anything is read, as, a, as according to the procedure, I cannot delete it from here. I'll go in construct reliability and validity. Everything is green. So co-workers, I can report. Environmental perception, I can report. HOC, I cannot report. Job satisfaction, I cannot. Ah, sorry, I can report. Organization commitment, I can report. Staying intention, I, I can report. Similarly, I will go in discriminant validity and uh, HOC is not reported. Diagonally, the values of all others should be more, should be highest. If we achieve this, then we have achieved discriminant validity. Then we will report HTMT, HOC, higher order constructs. Again, it will not be reported. For all others, the value should be less than 0.85. If we achieve this, then the discriminant validity is achieved. Then we will go in collinearity statistics. The VF should be less than 3. In inner also, we have should be uh, here. HOC cannot be reported. The value uh, HOC value cannot be reported. Now, what to do? Manually, we can calculate this thing. Point, we will enter 0 0.467, 0 0.795, 0 0.832. Manually, I can calculate it. Let's see. So when I enter this 0 0.467, 0 0.795, 0 0.83, I get AVES 0 0.51 and 0. 750 but there is one more method also the method is let us go there and in PLS algorithm the when I click on latent variable this scores will be there the latent scores will be there I will say copy to clipboard in excel format 
Then I will go in my raw data file. And I will just click here at the fag and control V that is pasted. I will save this file, file, save as. Browse, save as higher order constructs. Now again, I will go in PLS algorithm. I will right click, import the data file and I will save it as higher order construct. Once this is done, I will activate this file. I will be in the demo. Now you can see that all the latent scores will be generated and they will appear here. So now instead of working on measured variable, we'll start working on latent scores. So I'll delete this. I'll delete this. I'll delete this. I'll delete this. And I'll directly select environmental perception, job satisfaction, organizers commitment, and I'll drag it and drop it here. I'll rename it and I'll say this is HOC. Click OK. I'll connect this now. I'll connect this also. And now I'll run PLS algorithm. Start the calculation. And first outer loading is checked. Then construct reliability and validity. Now this figure 0.739 and 0.509 we have calculated this figure manually on the basis of this uh, these figures which we used to have so let us check is it giving me the same thing uh let me go there and check it yeah it is 0.51 and 0.750 let us check this thing here 0 0.509 and 0 0.739 we are very near and therefore we can go by this method for for carrying out the reliability and validity of the higher order construct done then we will go in discriminant validity diagonally the value of hoc should be high if it is there then we have achieved the discriminant validity of higher order constructs then we will go in htmt the figure should be less than 0.85 then we will go in collinearity statistics once this is done inner vif value right then once we have achieved the reliability and the validity of the measurement model now it's that now we should carry out the assessment of the structural model so we will go and calculate bootstrapping start the calculation okay once this is done what we will do, uh, we will report the path coefficients. This should be significant. That's a p-value should be less than 0 0.05. If it, uh, uh, if it is less than 0 0.05, we say that the path coefficients are significant. The same thing we can confirm by confidence intervals bias is corrected. There should not be any presence of zero in between these two confidence intervals. So z positive to positive, zero not present. Positive to positive, zero not present. Positive to positive, zero not present. It means that the absence of zero means that this path coefficients are significant. Fine. This we can confirm from here also. We can report the model from here also. From PLS algorithm, we will report R square. Then we will report F square. Then we can report model fit from here. So this was all about reflective reflective. You can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.